in this video I'll show how to create trees in Maya with paint effects and then to export to Unity uh, 3D. Uh, this tutorial uh, has some information from this document created by Jean-Marc Coutier and Miro Kirov. Uh, in this document they show how to create uh, uh, elements in 3D uh, in uh, paint effects and then export to the game engine virtuals so are some similarities in the process uh, then in Maya the, f the first uh, thing to do is window settings references to change the uh, unities change to meter save shortcut F to zoom uh, the grid and then uh, select the model uh, rendering and paint effects get brush to open the window visor okay. you can also open with window general editors vi uh, visor it's the same uh, in the visor you select the directory plants mesh cannot also select uh, like plants or trees or trees mesh we're gonna work in trees mesh uh, so I'll select a brush this uh, Suma C heavy with the brush selected I'll close the the brush and right now I can paint but before I paint I'll go to paint effects template brush settings and I change to 100 enter to apply and now I can if I need more 300 and just draw uh, a tree okay six key I can close the paint effects the brush settings okay. I have this uh, this tree if I render I can see how it looks in the Maya rendering Okay. Right now, the tr the tree have uh, this number of polygons, uh, and to show the number of polygons, you have to you have to go to display head up display and poly count that it's on. And uh, in the outliner, I have a stroke and this curve. Okay, with the stroke uh, selected, I can go to the attribute editor and change the settings of the stroke like the scale and other parameters like uh, in the if I want branches, twigs and leaves in the branches number of branches and change the numbers uh, always uh, pay attention to the number of faces okay. now 20,000 and uh, I can sh uh, change here the settings for, for the for the brush but uh, a setting very important is this one paint effect mesh quality attributes this is dra drastic to change the the number of polygons. The two sections put just three. Okay, and right now is uh, reducing the polygons. In the leaf segments, just put one because it's a texture, so we don't need don't need uh, too much detail. And right now is four thousand. Okay. Two, two. I'll put one. I just let this four because we're going to reduce it in the front. Uh, and again, uh, now I'll save the file. Okay. And uh, the next step is to. Uh, convert this paint effects model to polygons 
modify, convert, uh, paint effects to polygons. Uh, options. If I reset the settings, I have here a limit. Because I don't want a limit, I will put zero. And enter and apply. Okay. And the number of polygons, it's up. Okay, close. Again, uh, what I will do is okay, let me close attribute editor. So I'll do is I'm going to again to paint effects, mesh quality attributes, and reduce the number of se the leaf segments. Okay, right now it's nine thousand. Then also in the polygon. Uh, mesh and uh, reduce number of let me see it's okay yeah also here reducing the number of polygons I have this arrow, I have to go to mesh cleanup and with uh, these options on, apply, close. Okay, and uh, again I can reduce. Okay, right now in the tree four thousand just use this model right now. Okay. Uh, I'll go to before I export to Unity. Uh, uh just let me uh, okay. Uh right now so I will go to mesh uh, triangulate because I want to export to Unity and Again, edit, delete by type, all by type, history, clean the mesh. One thing before exporting is the materials. Uh, so, window, rendering options, hypershade. Hypershade, you have here two materials that are used. This is the material from the trees. Okay, I will name it. Uh, the tree, not the material from the leaves, enter, and material from the trunk. Okay. With the material from the leaves, I'll show the connections. In the connection, you. Uh, we have to, right now we have two options. We can create a new material to render a new texture, or can use the texture that exists in the connection. In these the leaves, I'm going to use, for example, this uh, the, the the original map. This is this file that you can see here where it is, and file uh, view image and open the the file. And I will export to Unity. Just create. Uh, textures. And here. File. Save image. And format. Uh, where it is ah, okay here save okay right now I have the image with the alpha channel okay can and the other uh, the trunk can show the connections okay 
uh, what I'll do is select the object that using this material shift click and select the material and then edit uh, convert to file texture Maya software okay. here in the settings uh, the resolution is uh, to, to uh, 156 and this format is PNG and convert okay I can close and right now I have a new material my trunk one that use it by the by the trunk here okay can close and select all I can uh, delete the curves from the paint effects um, select all and file export selection and in the unity project I'll export tree with the FBC export and animation disable because we don't have a uh, animation in the tree and uh, in the media it's on because I want to export the uh, texture from the material okay. right now I have some materials not uh, uh, some maps not uh, cannot export but it's not problematic in unity okay okay we have the mesh tree drag and drop to the hierarchy okay, I'll change the scale factor from the uh, importer options apply Okay, create a directional light. Okay, right now because we have changed the in Maya the the trunk uh, material, uh, it's okay. I have here the texture, but in the leaves, uh, material the 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 material in you know, uh, the texture. Uh, sorry, is not here. So I'll change, go here, text to leaf, and drag and drop here. And main color, put it white. Okay, and now here have the leaves and uh, the trunk. It's okay. Just one last thing, I'll change the the trunk to not to uh, shadow to bark and the leaves nature leaves okay and it's better and I can control one thing important here because this the alpha cutoff okay. because of the dark border can uh, cut some of that information Okay. And I have here the tree in Unity ready to be used. Okay, this this uh, pressure in Maya uh, depends uh, of the type of uh, uh, of stroke you select. Okay, some operations have to be the parameters have to be uh, adjusted uh, depends of the brush you selected.